Leslie Roberts and Ann Muskowski. Now, earlier, at 5.30. Will never cheer for another team. Has never taken no for an answer. Believe this is the only way to spend quality time. Have done the Sunday crossword for 38 years. Has braved frostbite season after season. Have crafted things their way for generations. Coffee's so good, it's getting people who don't change to change. McDonald's Premium Roast Brewed Coffee. Try it free starting October 31st. Place.ca. It's Snuggle. I know that the freshness lasts wherever my family goes. Even when I can't be with them. Snuggle's fresh release technology slowly releases a long lasting scent, leaving your clothes smelling clean and fresh for up to 14 days. Try Snuggle Fabric Softener. You're always at home with Snuggle. Seven forty-two, everybody. Good morning. Just one degree on Friday morning, October the twenty-eighth. We have a winner in our William Shatner contest. Stephanie Fitzgerald from Cambridge. Hey. Stephanie will be going to see Shatner and meeting him as well at Massey Hall next week. Congratulations! Thanks to everybody who emailed in. Uh, Jenny Biltek is here. She is with Art Toronto, which begins today down at the Convention Center. Correct? That's correct. So this is a hundred and nine artists. 109 commercial art galleries. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they're representing 13 countries. So, wow. So they're all gathered there in the building, so you can just stroll around and everything is for sale. It's like 109 mini art galleries on site at the convention center. So you have the opportunity to go and talk with the, uh, the curators as well as many artists are on site. So it's a great opportunity to go and discover Mm. I went happening. one year and I loved it, but I felt overwhelmed. I thought I'd like to start, you know, I, I really want to put some original art on my walls, but I feel like, you know, Dave was just saying during the break, you should only buy what you love. But still, I just felt like I want to know something about the artist. How do you begin to, if you don't have a lot of, of knowledge, make sense of it all when you walk into this show? Well, in addition to the galleries on site, we also have a really great program of events, which includes public tours, um, public talks, and those are there so that people can go and learn. And really what you need to do is give yourself permission to walk through, just take it in, and don't feel the pressure that you need to know everything, but walk around and if you see see something you love, mm -hmm. that's what art is about. It's about passion. Mm -hmm. So, But the programming is a great place to start. A tour is a great place to start. Will you be featuring some local artists as well during, during the show? Absolutely. There are a number of, of local artists from Toronto, from Canada, uh, who are at the fair. So. Are there some that stand out to you as maybe being emerging artists so we can get a good deal there? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, yeah, absolutely. There's a great section we have called Next, and those are all emerging art galleries, and they feature emerging artists. And that's a great place to start mm -hmm. if you're thinking about buying some new work, is to go and take a look and talk to those people and get advice and see, see what you love. And often you can get some good deals there too because they aren't maybe well recognized names. If there's someone that you like, you can maybe get a piece at a better price. Absolutely. I mean, we say every year there's work from $20 to millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And people should patronize young artists. 
don't yeah, think? Sure. They should maybe even get them at the student stage, you know, when they've still got, uh, they're displaying in their, their work and they're still students in, in art school because if you've got a good eye and you love it, that is the time to support them and then who knows, you never know what can happen, but that's right. trying to flip art and make money on it is really a, uh, a bit of a mug's game. Yeah, it's really about feeling excited about something and wanting to live with something and you know, maybe in 10 years you don't love it anymore and your tastes change as yeah. our tastes do but following a young artist is a great way to start and support them through their career now, whenever you read about the, the stories of the big big names in painting you know you think about like Monet and Matisse and these people who weren't able to in the beginning of their careers sell their art like I always think you know who would be the equivalent of that in our time where 100 years from now you're like oh my god I don't I can't believe that you could have picked that up at a show for a hundred dollars. Is, is, is there a movement like that happening right now? Well, I think that one of the things that we see that's changed in probably the last 10 to 15 years is there's no more what we call new media art. Mm -hmm. So video art, work that's produced through design on computers. And there's quite a number of uh, works on site at the fair like that. So, and it seems like art's become such a status symbol now. I think like in that in the eras you're talking about, it was still respected and revered, but not in the same way we're now. Like with Jeff Koons or things like that, like all the new art that's coming out, where people and people are paying tens of millions of dollars for pop art and uh, art that's happening right now, <clears throat> in order to enjoy it, but also to slap it on the wall and say like, look what I got. You know, and it cost all this sort of money. Yeah. So I don't think that, like, people, I guess uh, my answer to your question, I think, would be like, I don't think that exists anymore because people want to clamor around and grab the new thing and put it on the wall. Aren't would you, would you surprised, agree? though, sometimes, though? I, I've often wondered when I've kind of uh, uh, creeped through uh, real estate, on, online real estate sites, and you look, you go and take the virtual tour of the house, how little art sometimes is, is on people's walls. Absolutely, and it's such a great way to add a sense of personality and over time a sense of history mm. to your home. Mm. So, I mean, I, you know, we look at a lot of the collectors and they've been buying for years. And so there's a sort of a real history of their, their love and their passion there. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a great way to add that personality to your home or your business. Yeah, for sure. And it's such a good opportunity as well to go down and talk to the people who have all the knowledge right now. Absolutely. Down at this show, just to be able to wander and talk. Um, the art show begins today. The Tro it's the Toronto Art Show. Toronto International yeah. Art Fair. Um, begins today at noon and runs right through until Monday at 6 p.m. down at the Convention That's Center. That's correct. Fantastic. Jenny Biltek, thank you so much for being here. Thank I'm you. I'm going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. Do you own the water? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm just saying I don't think that's all that you can do, but, you know, I'm a young collector, so I'm going to go on the brand. I'm flying over the 401 right now with a look at uh, Avenue Road, both directions. Not too bad in this area, but the 401 both ways. We're looking at volume right now. No live lanes blocked with any trouble to pass along. Same goes for the DVP and the Gardener. Very busy, but it is collision free. It's go time at your Nissan retailer. Go for 0% for 60 months or go for $12,000 in discounts. But go quickly to your Nissan retailer. It ends October 31st. Home is your kitchen destination. We can help make your kitchen perfect during the kitchen sale. Only at Home Hardware and Home Hardware Building Center. Save 20% on Betty Crocker metallic red appliances. Save $30 on a Bun 10 cup coffee maker. Save on cleaner air with 3M filtrate furnace filters. Redeem Aeroplan miles. Let us help you make the most of your kitchen during the kitchen sale. Center. What if you always knew that everything was okay at home without ever having to ask? Welcome to Smart Home Monitoring from Rogers, the only security system simultaneously supported by two networks that constantly protect your home. And it's monitored 24-7 by certified security professionals who can alert the proper authorities in an emergency. For us, we don't have to ask what if. We know what it means to have complete peace of mind. To learn more, call or go online today. 